Hemolytic disease of newborn also called as HDN. Hemolytic disease of newborn results from the passage of IgG antibodies from maternal circulation across the placenta into the circulation of fetal red cells. Besides pregnancy, sensitization of mother may result from previous abortions and previous blood transfusions. HDN can occur from incompatibility of ABO or RH blood group system. ABO incompatibility is much more common, but the HDN in such cases is usually mild while RHD incompatibility results in more severe form of HDN. Pathogenesis The pathogenesis of two main forms of HDN is different. HDN due to RHD incompatibility. RH incompatibility occurs when RH negative mother is sensitized to RH positive blood. This results most often from a RH positive fetus by passage of RH positive red cells across the placenta into the circulation of RH negative mother. Normally during pregnancy, very few fetal red cells cross the placenta, but hemorrhage during part urition causes significant sensitization of mother. The first child born is unaffected because the fetal and maternal circulation are separate. During part urition, RH positive fetal blood may cause sensitization of mother to form RH antibodies. Therefore, during further pregnancies, fetal RH positive blood is attacked by maternal RH antigens. It is emphasized that the risk of sensitization of RH negative women married to RH positive man is small in first pregnancy, but increased during successive pregnancies if prophylactic anti D immunoglobulin is not given within 72 hours after first delivery. If both the parents are RHD positive that is, homozygous, the newborns will be RHD positive, while if the father is RHD positive, and mother is RHD negative, that is, heterozygous, then there is 50% chance of producing RHD negative child. HDN due to ABO incompatibility. About 20% pregnancies with ABO incompatibility, between the mother and the fetus develop the HDN. ABO-HDN occurs most frequently in infants born to group O mothers, who possess anti-A or anti-B IgG antibodies. Coombs antiglobulin test is generally negative, and is less severe than the latter. Clinical features. RH incompatibility can cause symptoms ranging from very mild to fatal. The HDN due to RHD incompatibility in its severest form, may result in intrauterine death from hydrops fetalis. Moderate disease produces a baby born with severe anemia, and jaundice due to unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia. When the level of unconjugated bilirubin exceeds 20 mg per dl, it may result in deposition of bile pigment in the basal ganglia of CNS, called kernicterus, and result in permanent brain damage. Mild disease, however, causes only severe anemia with or without jaundice. Excess bilirubin in blood causes jaundice. Further this bilirubin moves from bloodstream into brain tissues causing kernicterus. Severe form of RHD incompatibility. Prenatal manifestation like hydrops fetalis or erythroblastosis fetalis, in which massive fetal RBC destruction causes profound anemia. Pallor. High output heart failure. Enlarged liver or spleen. Generalized edema. Fetal ascites. Respiratory distress. Severe forms of petechiae and purpura can also be seen. Severe anemia causes fetal heart failure, which may lead to stillborn or death of infant, shortly after delivery. Other physiological changes are, total body swelling, respiratory distress, circulatory collapse, kernicterus. These occur several days after delivery and is characterized initially by, loss of moro reflex, poor feeding, decreased activity, and at last it may lead to death of the child. Prognosis. The course in HDN may range from death, to minimal hemolysis to mental retardation. The practice of administration of anti-RH immunoglobulins to the mother, before or after delivery, has reduced the incidence of HDN, as well as protects the mother before the baby's RBC sensitis the mother's blood. Exchange transfusion of the baby is done to remove the antibodies, and to remove red cells susceptible to hemolysis and to lower the bilirubin level. Laboratory findings. The hematological findings in cord blood and mother's blood are as follows. Cord blood shows variable degree of anemia, reticulocytosis, elevated serum bilirubin, and a positive direct Coombs test, 
if cord blood is RHD positive. Mother's blood is RHD negative with high plasma titer of anti-D. Direct Coombs test is positive in infant, whereas indirect Coombs test is positive in mother. Biochemical tests shows hyperbilirubinemia, hypoalbuminemia, increased LDH, and decreased haptoglobin. In complete blood count, TLC is normal, HB is decreased, MCV, MCH, and MCHC will be normal or increased, whereas platelets will be normal or decreased, and reticulocytosis is seen, 6 to 40 percent. Blood smear shows polychromasia, anisocytosis, no spherocytes and increased erythroblasts.